Hi everyone, so sorry I'm in my pajamas and clearly not like camera ready, not wearing makeup or anything. I actually um, don't normally wear makeup, so, and I, I actually wear my pajamas a lot, so <laughs> this is kind of how I normally look. But um, I wanted to do a video to update you with just my latest in planning adventures. And um, this is something new for me because I have recently gotten into ring bound planners, um, things like file effects and things. And the way that I stumbled upon it is actually um, because I was looking through Paper Chase. Um, it's a stationary and like paper, um, I guess like arts company in the United Kingdom. And they were selling their um, ring bound planners for major discount at the very end of last year. And so I decided to pick up one of the um, ring bound planners that they had, a pocket size one, because I got the idea to use it as a wallet. Um, I don't know, I just kind of felt like it would be a good wallet for me. So it was only like $6. I guess it was a little bit more once I got it shipped and everything, but it turned out to be pretty decent and I really liked it. Um, it was not a Filofax, it was a Paper Chase brand uh, ring bound organizer, but I liked it so much that I thought, um, you know, now that I like this system, which I previously thought that I wouldn't like Filofax type systems, um, maybe I'll try out Filofax. So I decided to try out Filofax, and um, I got myself um, one that is personal size, and then um, it just kind of blew up from there. And I always watch these planner videos on YouTube about how file effects can be very addictive, and I never understood it. And now I totally get it. Um, however, <laughs> I haven't gone crazy in terms of like collecting a lot of different file effects binders, um, but I have kind of become a little bit obsessive and how I can use um, my file effects as a way to be a little more efficient and organized. So, um, in my endeavor to use this small little ring bound planner, and I warn you, I gave this to my daughter so that she could use it as her own wallet so that we could teach her a little bit about like savings and allowance and stuff, and she's six and a half years old, so this is not what it looked like when I was using it. She decorated it with all kinds of stickers and things. So this is this is what her version looks like. But mine, it just had like embossed birds on it and stuff. And um, I gave it to her. And the way that I did it is I had, I made these little, and I did this for myself too. I made these little pockets out of like cards and things. And this is how she kind of designates her, her money, her little allowance that she earns. We call it earning commission in our house because we follow the Dave Ramsey um, way to manage our finances. So anyway, um, I I developed this system where I was using this ring, ring bound system as a wallet and um, fashioned my own like sleeves and things. I was even using things like that to hold my um, credit cards and things. And it just got really, really thick and and it wasn't entirely achieving what I wanted it to. And I realized that since I was going to be a little more serious about this whole ring bound thing, then I might as well get a nicer ring bound planner. So I broke down and did get a file of facts. So this video is about my file of facts planner um, in personal size as a wallet. And I'm going to show you a flip through, but I thought I would do just an introduction so that you could see it. But this is my file of facts here that I'm using as a wallet. This is a personal size, so you'll see it's kind of on the big side, I guess. It's not what they would call an A5, which is, um, I don't actually have an A5 file effects, but I do have something called a Kiki K planner, because like I said, I got into ring bound. And so this is like an A5 ring bound planner in comparison to this here, so you'll see the different size comparison, just slightly smaller, but um, the way that I think about, and I, I do use my Kiki K, and I'll go through that like, I don't know, at another time, I'll flip through for that, what I use for that, 
um, and I carry that with me everywhere. But I use this as a wallet. I've always liked using a large, long wallet, but it's never really served the purpose that I hoped a large and long wallet would um, serve. So I've been able to do some things with this that have made it into a really, really great wallet for me to use on the daily, for me to do financial planning and follow the Dave Ramsey system, and um, yeah, use it for all it's worth. So, um, sorry this introduction has been a little bit long, it's like going on five minutes now, but I will um, show you the flip through now. So, let's get started. So here we go. This is my Filofax Personal. This is a new print. It's the Daisy print. I ordered it straight from Filofax UK. Could not get it on the um, US site. Um, the first thing that you see is this is my cash sleeve. And at the beginning of every month, I tried to divvy out a little bit of like some fun money for myself and then I tuck it in there. And then over here, where all these cards are. These are all my, uh, I guess they'd be like membership cards or of course health insurance cards, um, essential cards. My driver's license is there. And um, then in this pocket I have um, some post-it notes that I got from Target that match in the black and white color scheme. Um, kind of serendipitous from uh, the dollar spot so it matches the outside a little bit. Um, they're actually not, oh, there's a business card. <laughs> um, but the, let's, yeah, um, the, I was saying the Target, the dollar spot ones, the sticky notes are actually not the greatest quality, so sometimes I have to washi tape them down, but it's okay. They're nice, they're cute, and they match the rest of the file facts, which I like things to kind of complement and match each other. So I keep them there. And then this here is part of what I use as the wallet, and I'm going to explain it a little bit later, and then I'm going to link these on Amazon where I bought them. I have a whole bunch of gift cards and coupons in here and this is actually called a document sleeve um, and I, I stumbled upon it on Amazon when I was looking for um, card sleeves so that I could adapt them for my ring bound planner when uh, we get beyond the uh, monthly personal allowance um, pocket there and I know it's like covered with stickers and that's ridiculous but uh, you know I I don't know I was doing this with my daughter just like how she had decorated her planner that I gave her and clearly I went a little crazy and oh well I don't really care so um, right now there's no cash in there there's only a receipt um, from something that I used to pay in cash for which is actually not supposed to come from my monthly allowance so I have to reorganize that but that is a file of facts brand sleep so originally when I made this and I shared this on Instagram this is my setup that I used and I used ID card holders I was originally going to use scrapbook photo holders and when I was in Hobby Lobby I stumbled upon these and thought well it seemed like the plastic was just a lot heavier and would work a little bit better in terms of just like the long term so I got these and I had these labels left over and then I used decorative duct tape that I also kind of had in my stash and I adapted them so that you could clip them right in but I I adapted them in such a way that um, see how they clip into the the six rings that's a quadruple layer of duct, duct tape <laughs> and it's it's pretty heavy duty it's gonna stand up but I was also really afraid that over time it was gonna stress put too much stress on the actual rings of the Filofax and so I um I don't know I I didn't like how number one I stacked all of the cards together and you'll see I have different categories and different cards would go in there I after I did it I realized I much rather would have organized it so that they were tiered and then also not done four layers of duct tape and then I have um the Psalms in there I'm a Christian and so this helps me to kind of remember ways that I can kind of keep myself calm and then I have this section where I took the actual file effects colorful sheets and used scrapbook um, stickers or I guess to make your own calendar and so these are just pages for like anecdotal note-taking um, per month so I don't have like I don't use this for a monthly planner I have another planner that I use for that um, and I still do use my um, arc bound planners but uh, I found that this works well and this is my happiness list and this is gonna sound a little really, really weird but um, I struggle with a uh, PTSD which is post-traumatic stress disorder and I can go into that like another time but um, 
and anxiety comes with that. And so one of the things that I have to do sometimes to keep the panic attacks at bay is to um, help remind myself to not like get all up in my head and be happy. So um, I made myself a happiness list because these are things that just, I don't know, they, they kind of make me happy immediately. And I can go there and be like, okay, like the world's not falling apart. In the very back, you have addresses and things. And I had to take a whole bunch of inserts, including dividers, out of my file of facts in order to adapt it into something that would be a wallet. So that's what I just showed you. But anyway, um, this whole, like, this kind of worked for me, but at the same time it didn't. Because, like I said, I had stacked them all so that they were all just like in a stack right there in the middle. Um, I like to keep receipts, so there was no place for me to really keep receipts. And, um... I don't know, I just, I wanted to redesign it. So I had the intention to um, redesign it, and that's why I was looking on Amazon, and then I found what I felt like were the perfect sleeves. And sorry, this is really not um, very elegant, but it's hard for me to do this one-handed. So let me show you now what my file of facts looks like. So I have, as in the planner world, I have planner piece now, um, what my file of facts looks like and how I use it as a wallet, because I stopped using these because I discovered something much different and much better. So I'm putting those aside, and um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Maybe they'll be useful for like something else. I don't know. We'll see. It was a good experiment, actually, but um, I much rather would have had them tiered so that um, kind of like what you see in long wallets when they have the photo albums, and then um, it would have been nice if they would have been tiered, and then I would have had them in there. Maybe then I wouldn't have redesigned it, but I don't know. What I found is just so much better. And I'm going to put a link for these sleeves that I found um, on Amazon. So, gone with these. Going to tuck them away. Sorry, I'm like doing this voiceover and it's taking forever for me to get the other sleeves. Um, here they are. Okay. So these sleeves are actually called document holders. And what they're intended for is there is a front pocket, and that's supposed to be kind of for your car registration or your car insurance. And then there's a back pocket, and that back pocket is either for your car registration or your car insurance. I can't remember which card is smaller. I think the car registration is bigger than the car insurance, at least according to the way that things work for me. So I thought that this would be a great alternative to what I had originally thought would work for me because I can put receipts or I can put coupons in the back pocket and then I can put the card in the front and then I can still um, so this is the, the same sleeve as here but this one is just like stuffed and organized differently and it's also really heavy so I wasn't going to try and adapt it and put it into my file of facts on the rings because I think it would have stressed out the um, the rings a little bit too much would have pulled them apart and I didn't want to do that. So um, so I found these sleeves and I took this idea and I felt like it would work well for these sleeves and so I took duct tape and I um, stripped the interior edge and punched them. I hand punched them all and there we go. So this is my new setup and you'll see it is just a little bit of the same, but just slightly different. I'm going to put this into my um, ring bound now so you can see it. And again, be really, like, not slick about this. Sorry about that. But so that you can see them in my file effects. And um, I used duct tape. I used gold metallic to match the gold sleeves that I had. And then I used, it's called Vegas Lace, which I thought was kind of weird, um, decorative duct tape. I got them both on Amazon. I had a gift card actually for my birthday from my in-law, so it went to good use. So those little labels that you see are labels that I made out of duct tape. And um, they fit. I hand punched them. I did not quadruple um, the duct tape for the inner bindings there, so it's not nearly as heavy. I, um, I did triple, triple duct tape though, and that seems to be doing just fine. And um, I hand punched all of the um, I guess the inner edge is there so that it clips nicely into the six rings. And then I have them in a very specific order. 
and of course designations per that order for each of my cards. And then once they're all in, taking me a long time, sorry, happens when it's one handed. Now I close the coils, I'm sorry, the um, rings. And now that's how it works. So my first one is my primary debit, and I also keep um, a little card there of our sponsor child from World Vision for me to remind myself that, like, I don't need to buy all the things, and I certainly don't need to spend all the money, and if I'm going to spend money, maybe I should send it to her. Instead, she lives in um, Honduras. Her name is Maria, and we've been sponsoring her for a year, and uh, or a little less than a year. Um, but anyway, so... Um, yeah, that's why I have her picture there instead of just my card. And what you just saw there was a receipt like spike that they use in restaurants. And I regularly clean out my wallet and I'll put my receipts there and sort them and save them um, for bookkeeping for both personal finance and then I have my own business. So there is Maria, sweet Maria. Marna. And um World Vision is a great um, organization, by the way, if you ever want to sponsor a child. Like, we get letters from her, and we write to her and send her packages and stuff, and it's really cool. So, um, that is my primary debit. That's, like, my, um, you know, my cash source. This is for food and gas. Um, I have an Amex. They give really, really great points, um, like, triple and double points on restaurants and grocery and gas. So, that's why I have that there. And then I have coupons here um, for some of our favorite places that we eat or get treats. Health expenses, so these are my um, pharmacy cards. And then there is a coupon there from the Target Rewards. And then a receipt there for my new glasses that I just got. So I have to file all of those. And then this is for business and hobby. That's actually kind of more like a debit card because it's my PayPal business card. And then I have um, coupons for Michaels, AC Moore, and Joan Fabrics. And I got these coupons from um, these coupon books that the school sell every year as a way to do a fundraiser. It's like the $25, I don't know, saver thing. Um, but we got it for free because my husband's school gave each of the teachers one for Christmas. So here's my Amazon rewards card. And this is from my most recent purchase at Ikea to reorganize my studio. So I have to put those away. Emergency use only. So you'll see there's nothing in the back there. I don't have any receipts or anything. There's not supposed to be any. Thankfully, we've had no emergencies. And this is for limited use because it's a store card. It's for New York and Company, which, by the way, gives teachers discounts, if you did not know. I always ask for teachers discounts. Um, but then these Joseph A. Bank coupons here. I have a Joseph A. Bank gift card for my husband. Um, so I have that. There's a little bit of a visual reminder that I have a gift card for him. And so we can kind of have double savings. Um, and then for my birthday, New York and Company sent me a coupon. So there we go. That Those are all my cards my my document sleeves and um, yeah I just think that this system works out much better than the original card sleeves that I had um, I did have to take out like with my previous card sleeve setup I had all of my dividers in there and I didn't have to take out anything so um, oh there's my checkbook I have my checkbook all the way on the way back and then I have two friction pens which are my favorite pens to use one in blue and one in hot pink. And the blue one I like so much that I actually had to find, or I had to buy refills for the ink cartridges. But um, I keep them there. And that is my, um, yeah, here is my Falafax personal as a wallet. I have found that the, I used Sharpie to write on the gold duct tape there on the little labels that I made. And I have found that they, it does rub off over time, so I might have to seal it with like Mod Podge or something. But the great thing is, on the opposite side of every card sleeve, if I want to, I could put, like, um, a register or, like, sticky notes or something to keep me on budget or to help me to track my expenses, almost like a check register um, for each card. But the Dave Ramsey way is that you pay off things. So um, I, I might be doing something new with that that I'll also share that I have designed in Photoshop. There's my new, or I'm sorry, my favorite pens. Um, and then it closes up and it snaps and this is going to take me a really long time because it just takes me a long time when I'm doing it one-handed so sorry about that um, here I'm like trying to do it with my right hand now which is my dominant hand and it's still not working it does make 
um, for my file effects to be a little bit more dense, a little bit thicker, but um, it still works, and I carry it around and use it on the daily, and I really like this, and I'm glad that I have the file effects personal because it um, it does. See, it shouldn't be this hard, <laughs> and it doesn't take me this long to snap and close when I'm using two hands. So this fits right into my purse, which I'm going to show you, and it fits right next to my other file effects purse. So this is going to fit right next to my other file effects that I'm about to show you, which is a file effects personal in canvas heart print that's no longer sold. Um, it was my first file effects personal, and this is what kind of convinced me that I felt like I was um, I could do this whole file effects personal as a wallet. So that's my Kiki K planner. That um, again, it's not file effects brand, but it would be the A5 size. Sorry, this is going to be really really awkward, but it's hard doing it with with just one hand. Um, and this all fits into my bag kind of like a little puzzle. There's my macaroon coin purse because I have no place to put coins other than that. That was three bucks from um, Michael's. It's made out of silicon. It's kind of weird. It looks like a giant hot pink and green hamburger. Uh, but there's my, my Filofax heart planner and I use that for um, my own personal planning like uh, kind of journaling and I have to go to a lot of doctors. <laughs> and things for the PTSD that I have. So that's for my like my medical stuff, my personal stuff. And so um, I put, and this is going to look also again really awkward because it's just hard to do this just with one hand, but um, I fit these right next to one another in my purse. So there's my wallet, there's my other file effects personal, and I guess a smaller one maybe would have been better, but I don't know, I, I guess I write big or I'm just used to this size a little more. So um, they fit right next to one another, and then in that little hole there on the side is where I keep a jewelry roll that I don't use as a jewelry roll. I use as like a wellness kind of a, uh, I don't know, we can do maybe a what's in my bag like another time. There's a nail manicure kit. Um, I have a little Gideon's Bible there that I always have with me because praying the Psalms is a good thing. Or I can give it to someone. A um, little tin of Altoids and a... Yes, a tape measure. I carry a tape measure everywhere I go. I know that sounds really weird, but the business that I run, it's like a specialty toy business. That's the best way to put it. I run it on Etsy. It's pretty success successful and doing a launch of something off of that. There's my bag. It's an Isabella Fiore. It's vintage, I guess, at this point. Got it on eBay for a really good price. Denim, and then the pattern in the front is neat needlepoint. And this has nothing to do with planning, so I don't even know why I'm talking about this. But anyway, so that's how my um, Filofax Personal is a wallet, and it fits right into my bag. And like I said, I'm going to link in the comments where I got these card sleeves. They come not just in gold metallic, but in an array of other colors, including clear, like a frosted clear. So I'll link that down in the comments. Please leave any of your comments or your questions or anything below. Um, subscribe if you really like what you saw. I mean, I'm not trying to be like YouTube famous, but thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me so much of your time.